It seems no matter what street you look at, there's a for sale sign on virtually every block in Prince George these days. But those signs are not staying up for long. The market is crazy. I've never seen it in my 14 plus years of being a real estate agent. I have never seen it in Prince George like this. Bidding wars, same day sales and soaring prices. Perhaps normal in Vancouver or Toronto, but virtually unheard of this deep into BC's interior. Take this single family home. Four years ago, it sold for $460,000. Now? We have it listed for six forty nine nine hundred. dollars And Bredner says it's just a matter of days before it goes for even higher. Right now, in my real estate business, we're telling and guiding sellers to list, you know, maybe slightly below what we think it'll go for in order to drive that, uh, that competition. That has homeowners like Ken Chevalier considering cashing in. He's seen multiple neighbors move and recently got a phone call from a realtor. She said 725 and that's what they're not even getting out of her car. <laughs> but then you got to find something because your house is going to sell fast and if you don't have anywhere to go. Well, six or seven hundred thousand dollars for a single family home may seem like a steal in bigger cities. It represents a huge increase here. The average home price has risen by more than 17 percent over the past year and sales are on pace to set a new annual record. It's a change for the city far removed from the frenzied housing market of the Lower Mainland. Prince George is a long day's drive from Vancouver, Edmonton or Calgary. It's also never been a retirement destination like Kelowna or Vancouver Island. But it has enjoyed a steady economy, acting as an education and service centre for other northern BC communities more tied to resource industries. The city even has a marketing campaign promising professionals the ability to own a home and a yard with easy access to urban and outdoor experiences. People are realizing that in Prince George we have a space, um, housing prices are lower, so coming here and being able to relocate, work from home. All of this can be frustrating for potential buyers. Morgan Denelik is looking for a new place for her family and says the process is disheartening. I feel like every time we go and look at a house it's it's one of those things that should be exciting, but half the time I just walk away feeling disappointed and I don't know about anyone else, but my wages haven't increased at all. And realtor Colin Bredner doesn't think prices are going to come down anytime soon. I think it's going to stay hot like this throughout the summer. Leading prospective buyers to ask the question, jump in now while they still can or hope for a dip in the market and a more affordable home in the future. Andrew Curieta, CBC News, Prince George.